All right, should we should we start watching this chat? Oh, please be good. Born into this world. We'll leave the subtitles on. Oh. Here in the house of the hearth, you will grow up to be Ew. strong. Your goal is to learn, to compete, to defeat all your brothers and sisters in battle, and become king. <laughs> Where is Perware? Didn't she want to hear the story? What is this? The old Excuse knave? Me, She's doing a funeral for her spider. <laughs> that child. Maybe her curse is flaring up again. Oh. Clairvy, see to her. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> okay. Why, this is cute. You, you want some? Sure. Uh, Dude, if this is what the anime is going to look like, that's... You must know spiders don't eat cake. <laughs> Really cool. yeah, I know. <laughs> the birds are from their cage. Sunbeams filter through the foliage. Flames oh. grow and fill our tongue. And I hope you won't be chained by fate. The fate to fear. Do mothers usually argue with their daughters? Yes. <laughs> I've heard that in Sneshnaya, colored light dances in the sky at night. When we're grown up, shall we go see it together? <laughs> oh. The voice out of it has killed it. Oh no. You will be a great king. What? Curse take over? Damn. That reminds me of Dark Souls. Artorious boss fight. <laughs> I should have pruned this flower long ago, not waited till it wilts. How grotesque. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah. Beautiful qualities. Sadly, they're all so useless. Oh, I'd love to do some of this. Sounds like Witcher music. What the hell? Dad will never fly the nest. You are no exception. <laughs> oh. Finally, doing songs with. Let your mother guide you, and you shall become the one true king. Oh. Oh, 
down. Better than the skirk eat. Damn. That was good. Wait. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Her Majesty the Tsaritsa has decreed as follows. I hereby pardon your crimes and bestow upon you a new name. <laughs> this title and its legacy of bloodshed are now yours to bear, my poor, mad, cursed knave. Damn. How times have changed. Two of those aren't even part of them anymore. Uh Come with me. I will raise you as my child. Is that Fremi? No. Like a strict and unfeeling father. That looks like a uh, kid adventuring. <laughs> is that that might be Fremini? That looked like Fremini. Oh, that was really good. Do we know who that is, Chen? No. Uh is there anything in the uh, description. Hold on. Oh, we got some names, I guess, the clovey and stuff, but that's, that, that was already given. Some believe that growing up is to gradually break free from the shackles. Fate sets the most brutal rules for us, turning day into night. No, I guess it doesn't. It doesn't give us anything. Usually they put some cool stuff in the, in the descriptions, no? Kakavisha? It's not... <laughs> Chat's not adventuring. Kyle Blue had made a video about it too, if you're curious. Clovey was most likely Krukabenya's biological daughter who was also raised in the same orphanage. Oh shit, true. I'm assuming that she fought with her mother due to some disagreements. Yeah, because she said about the mother. Holy fuck, I never put that together. Maybe it was because she hung out with the cursed Periware too much. Perhaps her mother left her with no choice but to fight Periware by leveraging orphanage's rules. Man, that's, that's messed up. And the only way out for Clovey was to become king by killing her best friend or be killed. Periwear seems to have unwillingly killed Clovey due to mother's manipulation. This scene probably shows that her, that their blonde friend also died with in a similar manner. Oh, perhaps Krukabenya played the role of mother to manipulate the children of her orf orphanage. She would act kind, caring and motherly to emotionally control the children as they grew up. Maybe this is why the Krukabenya asked Periwear to become king, she declined. Instead, she chose to become a strict and unfeeling father. Because in this way, the worst the children can lose is an unloving father. Damn. Just like how Alakido fought against mother in the past, the three will now fight against father. Perhaps the tradition of king is still present in the House of the Hearth? Also, thoughts on this possibly being foreshadowing for Natlan and the, 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 um, the king here being a placeholder for Archon, based on the previous theories of like there being multiple Archons and them fighting against each other in like a gladiatorial style thing to, to take the 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 Gnosis. Usually they do like to kind of drip a little bit of the Future Nations lore in with previous stuff like this, so that is that is food for thought. It also seems like the three siblings will meet Clovey and some. Holy fuck, this guy's got a fucking magnifying glass for an eye, dude. Jesus. Maybe she only wants to give up the role of father, not the role of harbinger. Maybe? I don't know, that's kind of crazy, dude. That's kind of crazy, Jim. 